Welcome to the series of webinars and tutorials on the Zeltus product line. In this video, we will be introducing you to ZAC 7.0. ZAC, or Zeltus Advanced Communicator, is a unified communication client that lets Zeltus customers communicate and collaborate regardless of where they're located. When you log into ZAC for the very first time, first thing, you're going to see this screen. This is where you select your physical location from a list. If you have an emergency and need to call for help from your Zoltus system, emergency responders can have a better idea where you're located with this feature. Over here, you can click to apply this setting every time you log in from here on out. And up here, if like me, you're a member of a call group, you can select whether you want to log in right away or not. Up here is your name and present state. You can use present state to give your coworkers an idea of what you're doing. For example, if you're available, not available, busy, at lunch, and so on. You can also add a note to give them more context. Because I don't see my coworkers face to face very often, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and upload a photo of myself. This is me. In this screen, I can also enter other information I'd like my coworkers to see, like my mobile number, home number, or email address. Since this is my first login, I should probably check my settings. You can find them up here. So there's a lot of settings here for you to take a look at. The ones I'm going to mention specifically in this video are these integration options. This is Microsoft Outlook contact integration. This lets you see your Outlook contacts in Zach. And this here is the Microsoft Unified Communications integration. What it does is enables you to see the present state of your coworkers while you're in Outlook. So for example, you can see if a coworker is busy or on the phone while you're writing an email to them. And if you're using a Mac computer, then you can integrate Zach with your Apple contacts. So let's go back to the main screen of the application and take a look at some options. So Zach has a maximize mode and a minimize mode. In both modes, the different screen navigation is on this left side. Let's quickly go over parts of the application. Up here, you have the recent screen when you can see your calls and messages. Over here is buddies, where you can add coworkers you interact with the most. Here is groups. You can chat with multiple employees at the same time. We will discuss this section in more detail later. Over here is voicemails. This is where you can see your voicemails and saved recordings. If you click on a voicemail, down here you will see the voicemail transcription. Next is contacts, which is the directory of all the users on the MX system. Facts, where you see your sent and received fax messages. Conference is where you can see your scheduled conferences, start them, or schedule new ones. And down here is Spark. This is where you can see the list of all the currently parked calls on the system, and you can pick them up from here. There's actually one more screen, but the button for it doesn't show up unless you are logged into a call group. So, I'm going to go here. This is where you can log into the call group if you didn't do so in the beginning. And now see here, the agent roles screen showed up. Agent roles shows me the other people who are in the call groups that I am and who is available to take the call. Speaking of call groups, I should also check my group presence. I can set it here. Available means that I'm here and I will receive phone calls for this group. And not available means that I will not receive phone calls for this group. For example, I am focusing on a very important project and I just can't answer the phone for the call group right now. And I can click here to set my active role, either my user role or one of my call groups. What does an active role mean? If I select my user role, Lisa Adams, as my active role and make a phone call to my coworker, they will see that Lisa is calling them. On the other hand, if my active role is set to operator and I make an outbound call, the coworker will see operator caller ID. The same thing applies to calls outside of your organization if, for example, the group has a different caller ID number configured. If you're like me, you are probably going to be spending most of your time in your buddy list. So let's start by adding somebody to the buddy list. I'm going to go to contacts. I'm going to type my friend Mary's name. I'm going to right click on her name and click here to add her to buddies. Now, if I go back to my buddy list, there she is. 
I can organize my buddy list by adding groups to it. Click on add, add a group. For example, this is going to be my New York group. And I want to add John and Mary who work in the New York office to this group. I can right click and say move to group or I can drag and drop. And if I quickly need to call somebody in New York, I can clearly see that John's at lunch, but Mary's available. But if I don't need to look at them very often, I can just minimize this group. Another thing I can add to the buddy list is to add an external contact. I can go in here, type their information and save to add somebody outside of the organization to my buddy list so that I can keep all their contact information consistent in here. So let's actually communicate with someone. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that we have a device we can talk on. Zeltus achieves that with binding. You can look at what device you're bound to down here. You can bind to a Zeltus phone or any other phone, even a cell phone, via a phone number. Or you can bind to a soft phone by using your computer's speakers and mic or a headset. If you already have a phone assigned to you in the system, Zach will bind to it automatically. I need to get in touch with my coworker, Tessa. I'm going to mouse over her name and if I click here, I can start a phone call here to start a chat. And if I just click on her name like this, I'll open a log of our recent conversation. If I click here, I can see her info. I can start typing a message to her here. And here I can choose whether to send it as an SMS or as an IM through the system. All right, I'm going to start a call with Tessa. I click here, call her business extension. Once Tessa answers, we have a few options here for this call. I can hold this call, I can park it, I can click to transfer it, or I can just drag and drop the call to another user on the system, or I can actually transfer the call to a voicemail of another user. Right now, we are working on a presentation together. So we now have this option, start screen sharing here. Tessa is actually going to share her screen with me. So now I can see the PowerPoint she's working on. If I press over here, I'll see the chat log. And here I can actually type the information. For example, I have a specific phrase I want to, her to include in this PowerPoint. Or I have a picture that I think should go on this slide. And I can actually attach files in Zach and send them over to Tessa right in this chat. I can just drag and drop the file like this and send it to Tessa this way. Anyway, Tessa and I are done working on this presentation right now, so she's gonna stop sharing her screen. I'm actually getting another incoming call. So I can have more than one call at the same time. I can answer this call from John and the system will actually automatically put Tessa on hold when I do that. And I can toggle between the two calls. If I pl press here, I will go back to Tessa's call, and now John's on hold. And a cool thing I can do right from this screen is I can transfer Tessa to John, like this, or I can actually conference him in so that all three of us are now talking together in a single conference. And if I click here on this conference, I can see the participants, and I can click here to mute them or disconnect them which is pretty darn cool. If you have several coworkers who you regularly collaborate with together on a project, you can add all of them into a group in Zach so you can have all your conversations together. For example, Tessa, John, and I are part of marketing department, so I want to create a group for us so all our conversations are in one place. Groups can be either public, where everyone can join, or private. In this group screen, I can click on group here and I can either choose to draw in an existing group or I can create a new one. So I'm going to title my group marketing. I'm going to type members here, Tessa and John and click on create. So now that I have my group created, I can message both Tessa and John at the same time if I type my message here. Up here is my group info. Here are the members, and because I'm the group owner, I can delete them from this screen. I can make this group public so that anybody can join. I can change an owner, mute notification. 
Another thing I can do in here is I can share my screen with my teammates the same way I did with an individual user. And over here is a button that lets me turn my group into a conference call. So there are two options. I can either start an audio conference that the other group members can jump on and off of as they wish, or I can ring all the group members. And this is helpful when you need to get a hold of everybody at once. You can think of groups as your team's personal virtual conference room. And as with a real conference room, you can invite visitors to join you. For example, our marketing department just hired an external graphic designer. His name is Michael, and he's going to work on a project with us. We want to temporarily invite him into our conference room. That way we can keep track of what we discuss and all the information is going to be here in this group. So to invite Michael to our chat, I'm going to click here. And this automatically copies the link to the clipboard. Now I'm going to copy this link in an email that I sent to Michael. And all he needs to do is take the link and enter it in his browser. And here he puts in his name. And just like that, he's joined our group. This link will give Michael access to our group for 24 hours. We can exchange messages and share our screen. Even though Michael doesn't have Zach running on his computer, he can activate screen sharing right here, and our team can see the design he's working on. You don't need to open a separate screen sharing app, conferencing app, chat app. Everything you need is in one place, in Zach. By the way, if there's something I'd like to discuss with Michael outside of their group, just one-on-one -on -one chat with an external user, I can do that too. I click here on my info, and over here I click to copy a chat link. And from here it works the same as it did with the group. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for joining us.